Hi guys, welcome to Self Care Sunday. Today we're talking about maintaining good vibes. So I'm all about good vibes. I love good vibes. One important reason why. Energy is transferable. So you have to maintain good vibes so that you keep the right energy around you. And it really is that simple. So I want you to, I have five different steps for you. Put in the comments, what's your favorite? Um, Which step works for you? And which step are you willing to implement into your life so that you can better maintain good vibes? And as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can be the first to know when we have different self-care Sunday videos uploaded. All right, guys, let's get started. Step number one. Find peace. This sounds like a really simple step, but it is going to take work and it is going to take focus to making sure that your peace is available to you. Sometimes we do have to find what peace looks like for us, particularly when you're going through something challenging or if you've gone through something in your past. Sometimes you have to relearn what peace is for you. When I lost my twins, I had to rediscover peace. I had to relearn what it meant to be happy after such a horrible experience. Sometimes you have to find your peace. And if you're not peaceful in general, it's really hard to maintain good vibes because you're constantly in turmoil. And one way you can determine if you are not feeling peaceful um. I saw this on Facebook and they said, um, if you're not sleeping at night, it's because sleep requires peace. So if you're having difficulty sleeping at night, I would recommend discovering and checking to see if your life feels peaceful. It's a real thing. Um, I'm knocked out cold at night. (laughs) Like when I go to sleep, I'm... Um, a part of that is because I work really hard, but also because I actively work towards maintaining the peace in my life. Second step, now that you've found your peace, you have to protect your peace. Listen, it, you have to actively protect your peace. How do you do that? You set boundaries. You hold people accountable. You maintain a self-care routine, you make sure that whatever it is that you need, you're actively working towards putting those processes in place so that you can be peaceful. So protect your peace. Now, there are going to be people in your life who threaten your peace. And that's what takes us to step number three. Do some spring cleaning. What do I mean by spring cleaning? Sometimes you have to gracefully burn bridges. I know a lot of people say never burn bridges. You never know who you're going to need and et cetera, et cetera. However, if you gracefully burn the bridge, you're just separating yourself from that energy. You're not ruining the relationship. I think when people burn bridges with a blowtorch and you know, just, I can't stand you. And you start saying things that you really probably don't mean. And that's when you're actually burning the bridge. Burning the bridge gracefully means you're just, I can't have you in my life right now. And that may be a conversation and it may not be a conversation. Sometimes it's just walking away peacefully. There are some relationships where you just got to walk away and that's okay. Um, But do some spring cleaning. I think this might be my favorite step. What do you say? Is this your favorite? I think this is, yeah, I'm going to vote this one. Tierra's favorite. (laughs) Step number four. Take inventory of your relationships. Good, bad, and ugly. The relationships that you have in your life, they make a difference. I was listening to a motivational speaker. I think it was Eric Thomas who said it. And he was saying, basically, go through your contacts 
and put a star for the good, put an X for the bad, and put an exclamation point for the ugly. And then when you go through your contacts, delete the bad and ugly. Now, ugly relationships may not look like abusive relationships. It may not look like traditionally toxic relationships. But if your relationship is not producing something, if your relationship is not encouraging or uplifting or supportive or loving or pushing you to do better, or if you're not receiving a current benefit from that relationship, repeat step three. Do some spring cleaning. And I remember when I first did like a huge spring cleaning in my, in my relationship life. I had a friend who we'd been friends for years, probably upwards of like maybe even 10 years. I don't know. And he's like, are you really going to walk away from our friendship after all these years? And I, and I was explaining to him, I was like, you know, it's not currently benefiting me and I'm cur- I'm in a space where I can only focus on things that are producing something. I can only focus on energy and provide my energy to things that are going to benefit my future. And he's like, but what about all the things that I've done for you and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, but what about now? If it's not, and then, and maybe at some point we'll circle back. I don't know. But at this point, I have to be honest about what the inventory of our relationship is. And step number five, <laughs> live your best life. This is a self-care Sunday favorite. Why? Because it's so necessary. Live your best life. But what I'm going to say that is different from previous videos, determine what your best life looks like for you. A lot of times people say you can't have it all, right? I decline that notion. You can absolutely have it all. What you have to do is define what having it all looks like for you and erase everybody else's expectations. So once you figure out what your it all is and you determine what's yours and what was placed on you by other people, and start focusing on what you want for your life, then you'll be able to have it all. The problem is we try to live up to these expectations and try to have it all, and that's where you can't have it all. So let's do a little recap. Step number one, find peace. Step number two, protect your peace. Step number three, do some spring cleaning. And if you're burning bridges, burn them gracefully. Step number four, take inventory of your relationships, good, bad, and ugly. Step number five, live your best life. All right, guys, I want to hear from you. Put in the comments, what's your favorite step? Uh, for me, my favorite step was doing some spring cleaning. Um, I went through a block, delete, repeat phase. Sometimes you just got to remove that energy from your space. Maintaining good vibes is how you live your best life. Let's do this together. And of course, make sure you subscribe. Always make sure you subscribe so that you can be the first to know when we have a new video coming up. All right, guys.